Good morning, everyone. Hi, it's Doreen with Mary Kay. So today I'm going to be putting on my face, but in a different fashion than what I'm used to doing for 25 years. So I recently read that it is best that you put your eyeshadow on before your foundation in case you have any fallout. So let's see if we can teach this old dog new tricks. Today I'll be using my Mary Kay Fall Palette as well as a couple of neutrals from my Mary Kay Signature Collection. Yes, that is a magnetic case. All Mary Kay cases are magnetic, so your foundation or cheap colors or highlighters will not fall out. Simply fabulous and you ought to have them. I have all my brushes. I have my foundation brush. I have my products here. I am ready to go. So today, I'm going to try something, like I said, a little different. And I'm winging this. I have no idea really what colors I decided to wear today. So let me try, um, let me try a little neutral on my lid. Okay, like that. No, I should have planned to have my big mirror next to me. Because this way, I can see exactly what I'm doing. You know what? We're going to do this live. Hang on. We're going to take the big mirror. Because as some of you know, your eyes don't always see the way they used to see when you were 20. So let's let's get let's get me some ooh, some light. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing it this way, but I will pivot to you so you can see the actual application. And again, I'm going to be putting a nice neutral on my lid. This is what I've always done. As I've mentioned before, I do have some pigmentation on my lid. Some of you are very lucky and you do not have that. You can use um, Biscotti. You can use uh, Blossom. I think I'm using uh, Sandcastle, which I know we will be phasing out shortly. Um, so I figured, let me just get my base down like that. And again, that just gives me a nice, clean canvas to work with with my Eyes, so I can apply any color I want and it will be true to form. Okay, so my next color I think I'm going to use is from the beautiful fall palette. Okay, we have golden possibilities, bronze horizon, peach daydream, sienna skies, dream big brown, purple vibes. What am I feeling today, guys? I think I'm feeling that. I think I'm feeling some uh, peach daydream. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Let, let's let's pop the color. Now these colors are highly pigmented, so I know it's just tap, tap, and go. So I tap, tap, and I'm going. Tap, tap, and I'm going. I need more tapping. Tap, tap, and I'm going. Okay. Can you see it? Very nice. Very nice. Tap, tap, and going. Tap, tap, and going. All right. I love it. You see the difference? Okay, so we're doing Peach Daydream on the lid. And door has to have more punch. I'm sorry, I just do. Call it bold, call it over the top, call it whatever you want, call it Doreen. I need to see it. If I can't see it, it's not there. Okay, very, very nice. Okay, so on my crease, I'm going to go with, going to go very bold here. Okay, and go with Espresso. Now again, these are colors that may not be for everybody, but I want to really pop today. I got my popping shirt. I figured, let's go with it. If you notice, I am just holding ever so slightly my cheek, not my eyes. So it's a nice, smooth application. I am using the Mary Kay Crease Brush for that. And again, using the color Espresso. Okay, I go in at an angle, I come up, and I just give it some dimension. Now, if you don't have good brushes, it's going to be very hard to apply uh, your cheek color. And what's really nice about the Mary Kay brush collection is that it comes with so many choices, and you can even add on extras too. Like for example, there's a blending brush, which I definitely will be using which I need to call Mary Kay Corporate and say, you need to include this with the brush collection because without this, your makeup, uh, to me, it, it just is it's essential for uh, blending to soften 
a hard line. It's like, I can go out with a look like this, you know, bold transition. Many people like a more softer look. They like to see it like a, you know, like I said, soft and blending, the blending. Um, but I like this. This is, this is so me. Okay, so now we're going to go with a highlighting by my brow bone. Mm -hmm. Let's do some Moonstone. Okay. Again, these are all Mary Kay colors. I'm using the Mary Kay all over eyeshadow brush. I wanted to let you know I do own two of them. They're one of my favorites. It gives me um, a wide variety of uses. And I, can, I use one for a light color and one for more of a deeper color. You can see the shades right there. And remember, ladies, we are supposed to wash our brushes once a week. If you can't do that, definitely use the Mary Kate uh, cleanser, which I don't have at my fingertips, but um, I just have a brand new one. You should spray your brushes at least uh, daily is ideal. If you can't get that, um, do it every other day. It dries really nice and, and moisturizes brushes. Um, mm -mm. I think I'm good on color. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some eyeliner. Okay, let's be safe. Let's use brown. This is Mary Kay uh, Deep Brown Eyeliner. And again, I go right up against my waterline. I go top and bottom. Let me keep myself in the mirror for you guys. Okay, this is just something that I do. This is my look, you do you. If you need help with applying your makeup for some reason, your eyes are different shape, or you, when you apply makeup, it gets lost, just give me a call. Um, I would love to be able to do, if you live nearby, we could do a one-on-one -on -one facial. I could do a color consultation on you, show you how you could apply your eyeshadow for it to enhance your eyes. Um, or if you live farther away, I'd be more than happy to do this on Zoom. This is a free service. I am advanced color certified and advanced skincare certified. So I am fully knowledgeable about our products and how to use them and how to apply them. So again, you know, just trying to help people feel and look great. And if this video does that for you, fantastic. If you pick up some tips, fantastic. Um, and again, today I'm tr trying something completely new. I usually put my foundation on first. So this is very new to me. Um, I guess I'm going to go with the whole thing. Um, let's save the mascara for, should I save it for last or should I do it now? Mm, I'm going to save it for last because I have long lashes and I actually might get the foundation on my bottom lashes. So I'm going to do something. This is what I was excited about today. I'm actually, instead of a foundation primer, I'm going to use a CC complexion cream as my base. Then I'm going to put on my concealer or highlighter. Uh, which one do I have out? Oh, I have about both. So I have the uh, Mary Kay under eye corrector, which is lovely. And then I have the Mary Kay Perfect Perfecting Concealer. I believe this is light beige. Um, it is. So use them both, but I will tell you the under eye corrector is fabulous. You mix this with a dab of your foundation. It just brightens under the eyes. All right, so... I do want to use a foundation brush. I like to keep my fingers clean. So this one, I'm going to use the thick brush. Which one's this called? This is called the blending brush. So the blending brush I'm going to use for my, what I'm going to call the primer. So instead of primer, I'm putting on the CC cream. Now, what I like about this is that the, both the primer and the um, CC cream both have SPF 15. So although my moisturizer has SPF 30, I'm applying an, addi a, an additional layer of SPF to my face, which of course cannot hurt, can only protect us from the UVA and UVB rays, and it protects your skin from free radicals and all that other nonsense outside and inside, because inside light also has uh, light, especially that blue light from the computer. You know, even glasses today sell um, special reflective lenses for that, for those of us that wear our glasses. Yes, yes. Okay, so that's just, again, a small base for my, um, like a primer for my foundation. I'm gonna hit a little bit of eye corrector. 
Okay, I use all the brushes, ladies. I do. Here's my cream. If I haven't mentioned them, this is my cream color brush. So I'm going to go like this and just blend it in. Okay. And also, you can do a little cleanup over there if you needed it. And I will likely apply this again once I put on my foundation as a second layer. But this is important just for the dark circles. Okay, so now I'm going to put on my foundation. Here's my foundation brush. I like putting my foundation on my hand and then dabbing it. I think it just applies better. You know, I have, um, I'm kind of in between shades right now. I have 200 with me and 210. I'm going to try 200 if I'm too fair with the 200 because right now I can see I'm very light. Um, I'm going to add some 210 to it. And that does happen different times of the year. Um, your skin color changes based on how long you're out outside or not outside. I'm in Florida. I get hit with sun a lot of the times, although I don't sit out in the sun at all. Um, like I have anywhere from foundation um, N190 to N200 in the matte, time-wise uh, 3D matte, um, to 210. And at one point I was even, I, I want to say an N150, but don't quote me on that because I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so let's see what kind of colors I got going on today. Okay, I think that blends in pretty nicely. With a little contour, I think I'll be splendid. Um, I'm just going to hit a little more on, on the, uh, per the perfecting, I mean the under eye corrector, that side. And then maybe a little there. Just to kind of give me a little bit more brightener than I want. Tonight's a big night for me. It's Friday night. I... Um, just recently joined, I shouldn't say recently joined, but I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I joined a bowling league on Friday nights, um, kind of forgetting the craziness that goes on at the bowling alley. Um, but Doreen's in her own little circle and she just goes out there and has fun. And, you know, um, those people, well, they're, they're just there. They're good, um, good people watching. We'll leave it at that, okay? <laughs> Yes, I said that, and I'm going to post this. Okay, so, let me move back, move back, okay. We're definitely going to need some contouring. You can just see that I'm all here. I got my, oh, and I'm going to take a picture of myself later. I also dyed my hair, self-dyed. Yes, I went dark, so we're going to see how this whole thing works out. Um, so the next thing I like to do is I like to do uh, setting powder. I'm going to do my setting powder, the silky setting powder. The I'm sorry, the translucent setting powder. I like to do that just to keep my makeup in place. Okay, and I do use Mary Kay brush to do that. And I just highlight my areas. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to set my foundation. And also what I like about the translucent powder, doesn't add any color, but it gives you like a, a photo finish. Just a little bit of light reflecting properties. Okay, Ooh. and it's soft and silky, and really you can't make a mistake. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my contour brush. Dun -ba -da -dun. Dun -ba -da -dun. Tap it, tap off the excess, and I'm going to contour. Now I'm going to contour my cheek area because I need some definition right there. Okay, I do the other side simultaneously to make sure we're even. We don't want to be crooked. Okay, do not go too far down. It's a mistake I still make. I get very excited. Okay, and then I'm just following the tempo line and I'm just gonna need a little bit more contour there. I do tap off the excess so I don't have any, uh, not too much. I mean, I want contouring, but I don't want to look like, hey, I'm wearing make it all makeup all around my face. I also learned this. This is great for your jawline coming down over here as well. I had no idea. We need to do this to hide a little bit of the little flabby skin if you may have it. For you thin people, congratulations. For us that like our Oreos, well, that's how it goes. 
That's how it goes. So now we're going to apply my cheek color. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go rosy nude. It's, it's a neutral, but it's got a pink hue. And again, apple of the cheek and up. Apple on the cheek and up. Okay, that was pretty easy. Apple on the cheek and up. Apple on the cheek and up. I gotta look here. Yeah, I will tell you, I, it appears that I have more makeup here than it does here. And I wonder if it's because of the bright light. I'll take it down a notch just to make sure. Because what I, even though I like a full face, I don't like to look like I'm made up. I, I just like to look as um, um, glamoured, but not made up. And for those that um, use their Mary Kay or any makeup line and can appreciate that, um, you know, you want to have a, a look, but you don't want it to look, you know, splotchy. Okay, I'm taking a look. Oh my goodness gracious. I forgot my eyebrow. Hang on. Mary Kay eyebrow pencil. I know this is the darkest one they sell because contrary to most people's belief, I am not a natural blonde. Okay, this one's called dark brunette. It doesn't get darker than that. I'm also going to have to purchase some brow gel, um, also in deep brown. I found a, um, I found that that may make my brows look a little fuller because they are thin. And that just, again, gives me a completed brow look. I'm just filling in some thinner areas. I just, it just makes it work. Okay, so we are going to finish the eyes with mascara. And then I'll be doing my lips. Again, I don't do this normally. I normally do my foundation first, then my eyes. So truly, this was a new application process for me. Um, I always curl my lashes before putting on my mascara. I know some people like to curl the lashes afterwards. Please don't. You're breaking your lashes. Okay, it's, it's not recommended. Um, also, I noticed that I didn't finish my area here with my, my uh, blossom. Okay, it just gives me a little bit more dimension. You don't see what I see, but I am actually now looking for my mascara, which is not a, a small product to find. Oh, still in my case. Oh, mascara, mascara, where is my mascara? It's over here. Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. Can't live without it. One of my go favorite go-tos. Um, I do like the Fanorama for lash separating, but I like the Ultimate for the boldness of it. I have long lashes and I like to uh, emphasize them with my eyes. So I really, uh, it's one of my favorite mascaras is the ultimate. Second would be Fanorama. The Lash Love is great for soft, natural looking. That's not a look I'm going for. Um, for those that don't want to have um, uh, such a bold lash, I would recommend those. Those are very natural. Um, lash lengthening, maybe you need more lengthening. Like, as you can see, I don't need the lengthening. I have it, you know, thank goodness. Um, and I'm proud to say both my children do too. So it's really a great feature to emphasize if you have it. And if not, you just find a product that does that for you. And like I said, the Lash Love, always reapply for the second eye. Um, the Lash Love will do that. It will give you more of a lash lengthening, therefore lash lengthening. Uh, mascara, but the ultimate to me is an ultimate. Okay, it's just so. What's the word I want to say? Ultimate. Okay, very nice. It gets a little tricky for me down here, especially with my. Here we go. Sorry, I'm coming off camera on that one, but. This is why I didn't want to do my foundation before because my bottom lashes sometimes do touch. I always have to do a double check. 
Okay, I really need to separate that because that's just how I am. There we go. All right, um, I'm gonna put some neutral lip liner. Oh. If you wear lipstick at all, I will tell you, medium nude for me, this is my natural lip color. I have a, a, a pretty dark natural lip color. So for me, the medium nude is universal for many things. It actually appears a different color on me than it would do. So the first thing you do is you make a V by your cupid's bow. Giving that pout and then follow your line. Um, my top lip is a little smaller than my bottom lip. So I try to hug the outside. But not going outside. And I do the same on the bottom. Okay, today, I know I picked one out. Here it is. What did I pick out? I think it says Bashful You. Okay. And like I do in all my videos, I give it a little touch for sheer illusion. I love, I love this lip gloss. I think I'm just gonna leave it there. Just for a little splash color. So that's it. That's my look. Like I said, I'm going to post my after picture with my hair down and let me know what you think. Do you think maybe I should put a little more contour on? Maybe, maybe. Let's hit that now for a finish. This way I get the true, true um, after picture. I don't like to fake it. Like if, if I finish my look and this is it, this is what you're gonna see. You no, know, there's no, there. if you don't have your word, you don't have anything. And that's just a something that I use in life in general. If you say you're gonna do something, then do it. If not, well, I don't know if uh, I'll be listening to you next time. All right, all right. I feel good. Um, oh, we've not finished. How could we be finished without highlighter? Oh my goodness gracious. Especially with our new highlighting glow sticks. I can't believe I didn't do that. Now, I can really sparkle or I can subtly sparkle. So I can really sparkle with golden possibilities or I can subtly sparkle with my honey glow, which you can see, I am virtually out because I use it all the time. But since today we are doing things different, let's have golden possibilities. Again, I'm gonna take, this is what I use for my highlighter. Tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna to go top of cheekbone. I wanna show you where I'm going. Right here, this is what I'm highlighting. Okay, tap, tap, tap. Now I'm gonna see it around. Okay, see it around. It's not gonna be, wow, I just wanna kiss. A kiss of sparkle, just a kiss. Ooh, oh, I'm kissing here. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I did. Let me see. Oh, I need a little bit of sparkle here. See, I get a little sparkle addicted. Um, let me see if I have it with me. I have a lipstick. I do. I have a lipstick here that we no longer sell that even my husband likes. And it's, it's a sparkle lipstick. Would you look at that? Uh, yeah. You know that's my go-to lipstick when we go out, but since I can't sell it to you because I don't have it, today we're doing better than bare with sheer illusions. Okay, feeling good, feeling pretty. Like I said, can't wait to take this off and show you my new do. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Don't forget, Doreen Levy, MaryKay.com slash Doreen Levy. Bye-bye.